Okay, so today I'm going to build uh, the most beautiful keyboard for uh, cindering keycaps. And uh, of course, to be an elven keyboard, it must be made of wood. I got a brass plate for it, which is pretty neat. Um, I haven't checked if uh, this plate is actually uh, compatible with this um, case, but uh, I thought it was, but uh, it doesn't actually fit. Of course, uh, wood is an organic material, so uh, it, is, uh, it is to be expected, a little bit of uh, tinkering. Uh, but uh, this is uh, really too much. Uh, then I have a very nice um, Polarity Works uh, PCB. There's a hot swap uh, version, but uh, I'm going to use a very uncommon um, layout. So I got the this uh, with soldered uh, switches. It is also a Bluetooth with this. It comes with this very nice thin battery, even though I don't think that I'm going to use it. Then I have uh, Duroc um, stabilizers. I got them mostly because of the color. So they are the same color of the, of the plate. Finally, I have some switches. I got this box jade, very clicky. I think that they had some issues with jade switches at the beginning. These are meant to be version two, so I hope uh, I hope they're fine. And since I'm going to use a, a brass plate, which is um, sturdier than uh, aluminium. I'm a little bit worried about the sound and resonance of the, of the switches. I'm trying to add some insulation inside uh, between the plate and the, and the PCB. I bought this modular uh, insulation never tried before I I think it's quite quite smart we will see if it serves its purpose okay so I need to fix the case uh, I tried to soften the the wood into some hot water and then using mm, some clamps uh, I tried to uh, push the sides back into uh, a straight position but um, it didn't work I just gained like one millimeter now the PCB kinda fits not 100% but I think that I can force it into position but the plate still uh, doesn't work so the options are either use just the PCB without the plate or try some more extreme modification of this case. able to fit the plate it's still not 100% but it's good enough anyway the wood seems um, covered with some uh, resin and that is very easy to scratch and makes the the case very shiny I don't like this uh, glossy finish so uh, I think that I'm going to sand everything at this point. Okay, 
okay and this is the end result and I'm so pleased how it came out it's so natural the the original was almost uh, plasticky so much that uh, I thought it was a veneer but yeah I'm almost glad that the the, the plate uh, didn't fit otherwise I wouldn't have uh, sanded the, the whole uh, the whole case and uh, I wouldn't have this amazing natural finish. I have to rock stabilizers somewhere. I got them of the same color of the of the plate even though of course they won't be visible but I know that they are the same color and that's what matters. So I placed the four corner uh, switches and as I predicted um, they hit on the on the sides of the case. Yeah, unfortunately I have to keep sanding. Okay, sanded everything again. Um, now I have uh, at least one millimeter uh, margin on each side so um, all the keycaps work perfectly and I can uh, finish uh, soldering the switches. Okay, all the switches are soldered and um, the switches have a nice sound at the moment. Uh, we'll have to check with the keycaps and inside the case, of course. Uh, but before doing that, I had an idea. Um, the PCB has um, LEDs on the bottom and I was thinking of drilling some holes on the bottom of the case. Um, yeah, so I think that uh, I'll try to do that. To find the position of the LEDs, uh, I'm thinking of uh, placing 
just a little bit of blue tuck over the LEDs and hopefully when I put it inside the, the case the blue tuck will stick to the case and, and not to the plate. doesn't need to be perfect. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. I think that I will have to repeat a few times, but it should work. I made the holes. Uh, they are six millimeters. Um, I think they, they could be a little bit bigger. Probably eight millimeters would be uh, better but I don't want a Swiss cheese case so this will do uh, I had a sheet of uh, polycarbonate uh, from which I cut these uh, little uh, pieces with a hole punching tool like this and uh, now I'm going to glue with some uh, super glue uh, the windows on the on the holes and it should look pretty nice. Oh my god! It is so pretty! I don't think that I, I'm going to use them, but it is really nice, so it, I, I'm glad that I made the, the, the holes. And now the best part, which is adding the keycaps. My wife is going to do that because she enjoys the process too much. It's so beautiful. I don't know if this is the most beautiful keyboard on the planet, but it certainly is the most beautiful keyboard in this house. Time for a sound test. Um, these are um, jade box switches. Um, they are very clicky and they have a very sharp and uh, not rattling sound. Uh, they are, um, I'll say, good uh, clicky switches. The click bar is at the very beginning of the travel and the actuation is uh, slightly lower. Uh, so if you are very careful, you can click the switch without actuating uh, the switch. But it doesn't happen in uh, real life when you are actually uh, typing. So this is how it sounds on uh, itself. And this is how it sounds on the keyboard. The stabilized keys. And I must say that the combination of wood, brass and the MT3 keycaps is uh, phenomenal. Uh, the sound of this keyboard is uh, way better than uh, I expected. So if you are worried about wood not being a good material for, for your keyboard, you should totally reconsider um, and try a wood case. So final words, uh, the Tofu wood case is fine if you're willing to spend a lot of time fixing the issues. I could have sent it back and asked for a replacement, but 
I know people with the same case have had similar issues. Um, so yeah, I prefer to, to just fix, fix what I had. But certainly uh, this case should not be on the market with this kind of issues. I understand that wood is uh, problematic, uh, but still this is uh, too much work to ask. Mm. But anyway, it, it is not expensive, so um, all in all I'm happy. Uh, the brass uh, plate is uh, stiffer than uh, um, aluminium, but um, I still like it. I was afraid it was too stiff. I tried steel plate that is not comfortable for me to type on, but uh, this one is fine. The case, unfortunately, doesn't fit this super thin uh, battery. Um, you can make it work by uh, using uh, taller standoffs, but uh, it doesn't work with the ones that uh, come with the um, case. Thanks for sticking with me during the build of this uh, keyboard. I hope that you like it because I absolutely love it. Um, I probably need a new cable. I would like one that is of this nice green over here. Maybe someone can uh, tell me where I can get it. And uh, before I leave, uh, I want to write something in Elvish. Um, I'm going to write in a Sindarin with a Tanguar and Tether. So let's begin. And that's it. I hope I didn't make too many mistakes. And if you know what it means, leave me a comment. And see you next time. Ciao.